Let's talk about the problems with bad personal branding or lack thereof. So most designers suffer from a generic branding, which is ironic because that's kind of part of our jobs, make something that kind of sticks out, right? They say things like, I build innovative solutions grounded in empathy, which is using cliches and buzzwords that folks like me, hiring managers, know that to be outdated, for example, right? And you end up looking like a million other designers, you don't stand out, and you potentially miss out on these opportunities. That is a major problem that I see in the job market today. The second is, it could damage your first impression. Given that hundreds of designers applying for the same role, can you afford negative judgments against you? Right, I think that answer clearly is no. And the last and uh, worst, and if you don't fix it, it could erode trust. Would someone trust someone with a pixelated photo on social media, for example? I mean, I don't know. That's up to the hiring manager, but also it could erode the credibility. Like, are they a credible senior candidate if their portfolio isn't responsive or if they have spelling mistakes? And then also getting zero callbacks uh, and rejections, which we've all been there, right? Kind of erodes our self-esteem, self-belief, and it impacts our confidence. So personal branding has this trickle effect, not just on the media, but potentially longer term effects. However, it's not your fault. It's because our instinct is to blend in, fit in, but we end up sounding like everybody else. So why is personal brand so important? 